Hello to all my friends out there. I hope everyone is doing okay. I had to start the video over. Okay, so I want to make fry bread because if you have bread, if you have potatoes, and if you have top ramen, it's going to be so much better for you in the event of some food scarcity. It's going to be bad anyway, but this is going to make it so much better. So I want to make a little batch of fry bread. And I have one, um, one cup flour, one teaspoon uh, baking powder. And um, I may want to make mention, I never throw this stuff out. You, especially lately, you know, when I couldn't find the baking powder, that's not good. And a pinch of salt. I'm making a quarter batch, so you want to mix it good because if you get a mouthful of um, baking powder, it's going to be very, very bad. Very bad. And then you need a quarter cup, so since I'm making a quarter batch, I need about a tablespoon of, of shortening. You can add a little bit more, but at least a tablespoon. So if you don't have yeast, so, you know, that's a, a generous tablespoon. I bought this at Aldi's. This is one thing you want to stockpile. You really want to stockpile shortening, and you really, really want to stockpile oil. I don't like the big ones. I like moderately sized ones because that way nothing's going to go wrong with your, uh, you know, you're not as apt to contaminate your your shortening. I think those uh, tubs, let's see how much is this? Three pounds. This is a good one. Okay, so now I want to cut my, I want to cut my um, shortening into my flour, just like biscuit making. And this just takes a minute. So once you get the, the fry bread down, and once you get the, the uh, starter down, you know, in case you don't have much um, shortening, I, I, it never occurred to me, but possibly that's why some people have biscuits. You know, no yeast. Well, and the fact that biscuits are really good. You can use uh, baking, um, baking soda for baking soda biscuits. Uh, so I bought big ones after I realized that there was no yeast in this town to be had. So what I really want to do, a pastry cutter would be really good, right? <laughs> this doesn't take long. Okay, see how my, my um, shortening is mixed up? And then what I have in here is some powdered milk. That's good enough for this. I just want to pour it in little by little to wet my dough. This is bread dough. It's not exactly like, um, it's not, ex it's fried bread. It's not exactly like a biscuit, but it's kind of like a biscuit. I'm just going to do everything on my uh, cookie sheet here. That way, no mess. I bought this um, powdered milk on sale. That's another thing you want to stockpile as soon as you can. Uh, what I think the prudent thing to do is to say to yourself, what if, God forbid, the food banks and food pantries ran out of food or just stop giving. You know, a lot of times social services will just say, sorry, uh, like healthy families, you know, or uh, the Acorn Association. There's there's just no number and there's no forwarding uh, number. And, you know, don't say that could never happen. I hope it would never happen. 
But could it ever happen? It, probably, yeah. So, you know, we just don't want to go there. So I have some oil. And if you're new to this, I would suggest small ones. I'm going to make mine like little biscuits, kind of. Little, you know, flat fry bread, breads. So see how I just kept adding the... Just kept wetting the dough until I got a nice soft dough. So all you need is a little baking um, powder, some flour, and some salt, and some milk. Uh, remember you can always use coffee creamer, one third cup coffee creamer, to uh, one... Um, Cup milk, uh, yeah, one cup milk. It could be one third anything to one, you know, to uh, make it. You don't need a whole cup. This is not too messy if you, um, if you keep it on a cookie sheet. I'm just going to need a little bit. So this is a nice little uh, bread dough here. Let me show you. My dough is not, or my my oil is not quite hot enough. I had I heated it, and then I turned it off. So this is going to make four nice little pieces of bread for me, and these are good left over. I can't believe my uh, oil uh, cooled down on me like that. Get this recipe and put it in your um, notebooks. They have the dollar baking powder, so when you get a chance, buy a few. Or buy a big one like I did. Flour, buy, buy as much as you can afford. The Chinese are hoarding flour, rice, and soy. Can't get even get any soy around here. They probably have soy milk. I'll have to check that out. Okay, so there, that's that. So now, to this morning, I thought, well, you know, uh, what can I find at Walmart so that if there was any kind of food shortage, as soon as this heats up, I'll put the other three in, you know, I could get by. So I found at Walmart two cans of evaporated milk, Uh, one can of tuna. The evaporated milk was, um, what I want to do is buy my food in a way that I can store it. One can tuna. You know, if I don't eat it this week, if I don't eat it next week, that's okay. I'll eat it in six months if I want. One can uh, tuna for 76 cents. Okay, 94 and 76 cents is cheaper than a dollar store. So don't just assume that the cheapest place is dollar stores, not necessarily. One package of sausage. Now this was a little bit more expensive, but I like the maple. And I, I can make a lot of stuff, burritos, egg and sausage burritos. Okay, I bought a package of hot dogs and I'm going to be having those for dinner. Uh, those were 77 cents. So think of it as percent, like $940 as opposed to 1000 That kind of gets it into perspective. One can sardines and those were 88 cents. So if you have bread and mustard and sardines... Uh, one yogurt, 
Uh, I bought a Yo Play yogurt. They didn't have singles in the Walmart. And a big box of cornflakes for a dollar. So totally this stuff was, oh my bird of paradise booked me. So this is quite a bit of food for $8.13. And all, all of it is storable. And I could mix it with my food bank food if I went there. That's what I want to be thinking about. And then at Walmart, I got a markdown on baggies, $2, and I grabbed those. Oh, and I got a package of bologna. That's going to make a lot of sandwiches. I could, I could have a fried bologna sandwich with one of my flatbreads. I could, you know, you want to make sure, no matter what, you're going to have bread. Bread, bread, bread. Okay. No. Get this stuff out of the way. So, you know, it's hard. Um, the day of the 50 cent thing, uh, what, what made me think of this is I thought I'll buy some Vienna sausages. Guess what I found? Vienna sausages for a dollar. I go, are you kidding me? No, they're not kidding. Uh, I would consider hoarding a case or so of those uh, if, if um, I could. Okay, so I gotta watch those. They're easy to burn. I want to get them done in the middle. And the more you make these, the better you'll get at making these. So what I want to make is some top ramen. And so instead of putting um, instead of putting Vienna sausages in my top ramen, I want to put um, I want to put um, hot dogs. It's cheaper. Two hot dogs is twenty four cents. A little a little a package of Vienna sausages is um, well, if they were a dollar, that'd be cause for not eating them. <laughs> But you can store them. I have to get some precious napkins. Uh, the reason I went out today really was to buy toilet paper. Uh, my fry breads are looking really, really tasty. Really tasty. Let me give you a shot. Look at this yumminess. Okay, so as soon as this, okay, so let me make myself a little top ramen. So this is another, this is for like, to make sure you're never going to be running out of food. One time I got, I saw a guy with a whole grocery cart full of top ramen. And at the time, I thought, why would anybody do that? And I said to him, what are you going to do with the top ramen? And he said, I'm going to give it to the homeless, which I doubted that story. But I think that would be a good thing to uh, buy for your stockpile. A real good thing. Just in case hard times hit. And also, if you can buy the... Um, the um, the pork and beans for 48 cents. I would get those too. Now let me check this because you can eat those right out of the can. Let me see if my owie. Danger is my game here. Oop, not quite ready. They sure do look good this time though. Okay. And then in my, you might be thinking, that looks terrible. It's going to be good, you guys. Okay, it's not going to be Mr. A's, and it's, you know, it's going to be good enough. And so I roasted my hot dogs at 400. That's the best way to get them, like, barbecue. And those are just two Walmart. Actually, these, these are cheaper. They're less than 10 cents each. So I want to put those in my um, top ramen for a minute. 
Oh, well, I lost two hot dogs. So can you see how having the fry bread is going to really make this top ramen better than no fry bread? It will. I mean, at this time, if you still have a little money left, um, start stocking up on some of this stuff, just in case, God forbid. And then for dessert, I made cinnamon rolls with my bread starter. And I have these cookies from the uh, food pantry. I had them in my freezer. I'm going to bake them up. Okay, so then I went to 99 cent only because I needed toilet paper. Uh, basically, I need toilet paper every single day because, you know, I can't um, trust them like when I go to the store that there's going to be toilet paper. Sorry, we don't have any toilet paper. Well, I'm sorry, but that's just unacceptable. I got to wipe my butt every single... <laughs> I mean, that is just sickening, really. So I went to... I got a a big roll of toilet paper, you know, the big one. So when I was there, I stopped by the, um, I stopped by the markdown bin. So locate the mark places that have markdowns in your town. And I had to buy bags because first here in California, they were saying, okay, you have to buy your own bags. And now they're saying, well, there is no bags. They said, well, you can't bring your own bags because, you know, you're going to pass around the uh, coronavirus. So now just take your bags out and, you know, you that's your problem. <laughs> okay, let's see if this is ready. It looks ready. It's very hot. I'm going to give them a couple more minutes. Okay, so I bought three cake mixes for cupcakes. Uh, lemon, um, butter, and chocolate. Or for cakes. Well, I can still get them for a dollar was my thinking there. Then they had this open package of applesauce with one uh, jello for uh, 50 cents. So I thought I'll take it. That's a damaged package. And I got a dented um, can for 50 cents of uh, peaches because, and one dented can of fruit cocktail. My friend and I were trying to help this lady. Uh-oh. And uh, she was out of fruit, vegetables, and bread. Don't ever forget that. Make sure you, yikes, you can make Brett, ooh, tonight I'm dangerous. The devil. Okay. So, fruit, vegetables, and bread. Don't ever forget that. And then I got two uh, cans of this cream. Now, these were pretty dented, but there was no bulging on the top, or so I took them. Those could come in handy. And I got a can of, of pineapple and a can, another can of fruit cocktail. So it was one, two, three fifty. So I thought that was a good deal. So I want to make sure that I have food. So now maybe I will never have to eat this, these dented cans. I try to eat them. Maybe I will never have to eat them, but I could always donate them if, if, you know, things look up. Okay, the way things are bad now, the way it is now, it might be to the point that it's like nothing anybody can do about it. You know, you can want to do something about it as much as you want, and you can sequester us, but we have no idea what's going to happen with this uh, pandemic. Things could go really, really bad. They really could. And uh, there might be nothing, you know, that can be done about it. And, and there's a possibility of a famine. 
And so we want to prepare. So if there was a true famine, look at this. This is pretty good, you guys. Okay, and then if you have Mexican hot sauce and um, lime, that is really tasty in your top ramen. And then you have your uh, fry bread. Ow, my, my pan is hot. It's very late. I know better than to do these darn things late because, you know, when it's late, everything starts going around. Look at this. Yummy. Try to get into the habit of making your own bread. This is cheaper than Vienna sausages. That's 20, well, that's 20, less than 20 cents. And you have a little protein in there. These, these fry breads are good. Stockpile bread, potatoes, top ramen. Buy cheap meat and groceries that are good for eating now as well as stockpiling. If you don't eat it this week, eat it next month, eat it the month after, and buy markdown cans. Okay, now. Let me give you the bread starter one more time. Um, if you don't have much yeast, you can use a pizza crust, one quarter cup, or you mix two cups flour and one half tablespoon yeast, one quarter cup, one quarter cup warm water, one half tablespoon sugar, and a small potato. You cut it up and you stir it up good the night before, and the next night you can make yourself some bread. So I made a bunch of of um, cinnamon rolls to drink with, to eat with my tea. And once you get used to the bread starter, it's really easy to make, see? Okay, now. I told you guys I dearly love Michael Jackson and I found a video I hadn't seen, Remember the Time. I posted it on my Twitter if you would like to see it. Then it reminded me of, of um, I'm watching movies. It reminded me of the movie Cleopatra with Elizabeth Taylor. It came out in 1963 and I hadn't seen it since I was about eight years old. So that was 37, 47, 57? No, that can't be right. 1963, yeah, 37, 38, yeah, 48, 49 years ago. And so I posted it on my Twitter, and then what I do is I drag it over and I watch it on uh, TV, and it's very enjoyable. Um, also, I posted a um, video, in Times Daniel. Okay, I watch all kinds of prophe prophecy videos. I don't agree with everything they say, but I watch them anyway. Okay, and he, he does make a good point. He makes a good point. Okay, the Jews have a sacrificial uh, lamb, and this is a sacrifice. They do... You know, it's one of their yearly sacrifices, and I posted one of those for you guys to see as well. So what, what the Bible says, in the end of times, a little horn or world leader that will come out of a little country, such as the Vatican, maybe, will put an end to these sacrifices. And from the time those sacrifices are put an end to, it will be, uh, let's see, 2,300 days until the coming of the Lord. So as of April 7th, the sacrifices of the Lamb were still going on. But if some, so what they're saying is this little horn will rise up suddenly, kind of like Hitler, how Hitler was able to come up and just, you know, 
cause all this mischief, but this one will be worse. So we're watching those, um, we're watching those sacrifices of the lamb. So, and so a lot of people are saying the end time is near, but until those sacrifices, an end is put to those sacrifices, it's not the end yet. So you can take a look at those videos if you wish as well. So um, now um, a word about the meat. Okay, we're having a problem with our meat, and what could happen is meat could hyperinflate. Like if that was correct, and I saw that Vienna sausages, a little can, was a dollar, that would be hyperinflation by 100% just on a small product. And the meat is very scanty. It really is. So I pack my freezer on one side full of the cheap meat, like the bologna, like the, uh, the sausage. I stockpile, you know, uh, um, hot dogs, chorizo on the one side and cheese, you know, and on the other side is chicken, cheap hamburger, and um, what else was it? chicken I don't know another thing a cheap 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 food okay so possible okay now some religions like the Adventists shun meat because they say it's actually gonna be very bad for us to consume it but in the Bible times it was after the flood only after the flood that man was allowed to eat meat so we can survive on a vegetarian, a vegetarian diet. So in prehistoric times, the men were hunters and gatherers, and the women, no, the men were hunters, the women were gatherers. So what did the women gather? They gathered nuts, seeds, fruits. So, you know, um, we want to start trying to uh, stockpile some nuts in case we're wiped out with meat and other sources of, of um, protein. So that's something to think about. Um, what I did is I started um, investigating the Advents because they had some of the longest um, lifespans in the world, up near 100 years old. And when I went, I wasn't totally impressed by the diet myself, but I said to the, the pastor, it's not really the diet, is he? He goes, well, no, not entirely. So what they're doing is they're living by the Ten Commandments so as to stay close to the Lord, so as not to be stricken, you know, with various diseases and stuff. But they are, uh, their premise is if you stay very close to the Lord, then, you know, bad stuff can't easily happen to you, as easily happen to you. But, you know, their missionaries have been murdered, and, you know, bad stuff does happen to believers as well. Okay, so, um, also it looks like they're reducing the amount of uh, cans. And so what it looks like is they're making it harder and harder to earn a living. What I would suggest is figure a self-employment uh, way because you know you can't really uh, trust other people with your job you know maybe you're going to go back to your job but be putting it into the back of your mind what kind of self-employment you could do and also expect all kinds of treachery but well, what does that mean well like uh, somebody giving your job to their friend or relative that's treacherous and rotten does it happen and will it happen yes uh, apartments. Can something happen to your uh, apartment if somebody needs it? Yeah, something can happen. Car repairs. Um, I think it's best to make sure all your car repairs are done now before things get really bad because they might, you know, say you need stuff that you don't really need. Another thing is dentists. You know, that's scary. Very scary. So now what you want to do is pursue things that you know, you already know work. Okay, I already know I can get cheap food at Walmart. I already know I can get dented cans and wear, so all I have to do is check them. And also, I'm trying to plant um, seeds out of my food, right out of the food I eat, and see if that works. 
uh, it's very important to be able to stockpile some seeds, so the best way is just to harvest some out of the food we eat. Um, another thing is a mention about fast food. Okay, the people, okay, so this is about, uh, they want us to eat uh, lab-created food that's not strictly uh, meat, like it's a uh, plant protein. And so what I would expect is the first people who be doing this will be fast food. And who is the ones eating the fast food? The, the, the lower class. And another thing is, in the Bible it says, you know, a certain amount of money for one day food. Okay, like a hamburger and a soda is going to be four or five dollars. And as you can see, that food that I bought was like about eight dollars. And if you go to a food bank combined with some smart shopping, you're going to be eating better. Okay, if you don't have much money, call 211. Um, apply for welfare. Do whatever you have to do to get food stamps if you need them. Or welfare. And call the churches and do whatever you have to do to secure food now. Because we don't know what's happening. Um, you know, what could happen is this pandemic could go totally out of control. I heard something bad that it would go totally out of control when the kids went back to school. That's a bad thought. Hopefully not. Um, you guys, this stuff is not bad. It really isn't. Um, if I, okay, so I'd say this is about 50 cents, maybe about 50 cents. And if you have the lime in it and the hot sauce, it's pretty good, actually. You know, so the, the, the idea is to stockpile food so you can't possibly, under any circumstances, go hungry. What? Is this really, really delicious? Well, actually, it's pretty good. And it's 100% better than going hungry, for sure. I can get by on this, and I have jam in my freezer. I can get by on this because for about the uh, past week or so, I made these big pots of food. Uh, today, I had my leftover macaroni and cheese that I made last night. And so what you can do is you can make your big pots of um, food with just like one or two hamburger patties or some hot dogs or some uh, sausage or, you know, even sliced up lunch meat and burritos. I'm going to be making some burritos too. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Nice, helpful comments, nice, lovable comments. It's, it's a hard time, and the lovable comments lift people up. Okay, you guys, God bless you all.